One of the great ways to become a more efficient and proficient photographer using the Fujifilm X-Series cameras is to take advantage of the two customizable menus in these cameras. Those are the Q menu and My menu. And in this video, we'll look at how to set those up for your style of photography. The Q menu is best to save for your image quality settings. So your film simulation, your color, your toning, things like that to be able to quickly change how your photo looks, specifically the JPEG file. And if you use these cameras, if you love these cameras for the in-camera JPEG styling options, then you're gonna spend a lot of time in the Q menu, which again is gonna be all about the image styling. My menu, save that for all of the other camera settings. Things like the sports finder mode, the AFC custom settings, interval timer shooting, all of those things you can put in one single menu in my menu so that you can access them quickly when you press the menu button and not have to go through all of the other menus. They're right there on the screen when you press that menu button. So let's look at how to program my menu first. So without my menu set up, if you want to start interval timer shooting, for example, you press the menu button, this screen comes up, and then you have to scroll through all of the menus to get to the shooting setting menu, and then go down to interval timer shooting. Well, when you have my menu set up and you put that into my menu, now you press the menu button, this screen comes up showing my menu, and then you can scroll down to interval timer shooting without having to go through the rest of the menus. You can even order this as the very first option in that menu if that's the thing that you change the most. So let's look at how to actually set that up. I'm going to be demonstrating this on an XE4, but nearly every single Fujifilm X and GFX camera is the same. So press the menu button, go into setup, and then user setting. In user settings, select my menu setting, and then add items. And when you do that, you'll see all of the wording in blue. Anything in blue can be added to my menu. So if I wanted to put image quality in my menu, I would use the joystick to scroll down to image quality, press OK, and now it's added to my list. If the next thing I want to add is long exposure noise reduction, I press OK to get back to the selection menu, scroll down to long exposure noise reduction, and press OK. And now I see that added to my list. I press OK again to get back to my selection screen. And let's say the next thing I want to add is focus mode. So I scroll down to focus mode, press OK. And now focus mode is on the list. It's the third thing that I added. But if I want to put that at the top of the list, number one, I use the focus lever, the joystick, to just bump it up to the first slot. And then I press OK again to get back to my selection screen. I just repeat this process, going through the entire menu, pressing OK every time one of those blue items I want to add to my menu. And then in that list screen, use the joystick to move it up or down in the order, and then press OK to keep repeating the process. When I'm all done adding everything that I want into my menu, then I will press the back button a couple of times to get back to this screen. Everything will be saved. Just note that there are some options, especially in these setup menus, that cannot be added to my menu, and those will be grayed out. So you've used my menu quite a bit, and you've realized that photometry is high on your list, but you hardly ever use photometry. Image stabilization mode is low on your list, and you do use that a lot. So now let's reorder the items. Press the menu button, go into setup, user setting, my menu setting, and then rank items. If we're going to move photometry lower in the list, for example, I'll use my joystick to scroll down and select photometry, press OK, and when it's highlighted in yellow, then I'll use the joystick to move that down in the list where I want it. I'll press OK to save, scroll to IS mode, press OK to highlight that, and then move that up in the list using the joystick to where I want it, and press OK to save it. And then you can do that to reorder all of the items you want, and then press back when you're done. And then you realize there are some items you don't use, like 
AF range limiter. You've never used that, so why is it taking up space in my menu? You can remove items by going to remove items, using the joystick to scroll down to the item you want to remove, press OK, a prompt will come up asking you if you really want to remove it. Highlight remove and press OK, and then just press back when you're complete removing items. So this begs the question, what do you put in my menu? Well, I can't answer that for you because everyone has a different style of photography and use different things. So I would just recommend going out and using your camera, photograph as much as you can, different genres, different styles, all of the different things that you do as a photographer, note which settings you change the most and then put those in my menu. You can put up to 16 items there. I've never used all 16 slots, but just go through that process and figure out what you want to put in there. The next custom menu we're going to look at is the Q menu. In shooting mode, you'll press the Q button to bring up your image quality settings and change your styling. As a default, all Fujifilm cameras have 16 slots in the Q menu. In some cameras like the X-S10, X-T4, X-T200, that first slot is reserved for your shooting mode or your custom setting and cannot be programmed. However, the rest of them can be programmed and customized to what you want. Additionally, some other Fujifilm cameras like the X-T4, X-E4, you can change the number of slots in the Q menu to 4, 8, 12, or 16. And again, I'm going to be demonstrating this on an XE4. Your camera may actually be a little bit different in what you can do, but for now, the XE4 has all of the different options available for the Q menu, so that's what we're going to look at. You're going to program the Q menu or the Quick menu by pressing menu, going down to set up, button dial setting, and then edit, save, quick menu. Or as a shortcut on cameras that do have that hard Q button, which is everything except for like the X-T200, all you need to do is press and hold the Q button and you'll get to your edit quick menu screen. So let's say the first option I wanna see there is film simulation. I'll highlight that first slot, press OK, and then get taken to the list of all the things I can put in my Q menu. I'll scroll up to Film Simulation, press OK, and now Film Simulation occupies that first customizable slot, or the second slot. And then if I want to put Dynamic Range in the next one, I'll move over using the joystick to the next slot, press OK, scroll to Dynamic Range, and press OK. I want dynamic range priority in that last slot on that row. So I'll go over to that, press OK, scroll to dynamic range priority, and then press OK to put it there. And then I'll repeat the process for all of the programmable slots in this quick menu screen, which is a 12 slot screen. And when I'm all done, I'll just press back. And now my 12 slot quick menu is all set up. If I want to set up a different quick menu for either 16 or 4 or 8 slots, then I'll have to go to the button dial setting menu, go to the edit save quick menu, select 4, 8, 12, or 16 there, and then I can edit and then set to use one of those menus. There is also another really cool quick menu feature found in newer cameras like the X100V, X-T4, and X-E4, where you can make the Q menu transparent. So while you are in shooting mode and you are adjusting your film simulation or your color or your highlight or shadow tone, you can actually see what those changes are doing underneath that quick menu screen, which is incredibly useful. In cameras that have it, you'll find this option under the screen setting menu under Q menu background, except for the X100V. The X100V, this option is in the button dial setting menu. So like setting up my menu, now this leaves us with the question, what are we going to put in the quick menu? Are we going to use four, eight, 12 or 16 slots if that's an option? And again, that's just something that you are going to have to figure out on your own as you go uh, spend time with your camera, photographing different scenes, figuring out which kind of settings you want to be able to change 
using the quick menu and then customize it appropriately. As I mentioned earlier, if you love these Fujifilm cameras for their JPEG styling options, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in this menu. Put the image styling settings in there that you most often change. If you never use dynamic range priority or color chrome effect, don't put it in there. You can leave it in there as an option if you want, but remember that you only get so many options here. Now I've gone down from 16 to 12 slots. I just find that I can see the background better with 12 slots and I don't need all 16. Like I rarely ever change my sharpness and high ISO noise reduction. So I don't have those in the Q menu and this allows me to go down to 12 slots. So now that you've got your custom menus set up, get out there and photograph and use those menus. Practice using them. They're going to change. The more you use those menus, the more you're out photographing, you're gonna realize that you're gonna to wanna to change things around a little bit. And the more you can do that, the more efficient you will become. If you have any questions or comments about any of this process, please leave them below in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.